Hi everyone, and welcome to another new Miro video where we share design tips to help you build beautiful reports in Power BI. Today, we are going to show you how to use the new visual container design functionality, including built-in titles, subtitles, and backgrounds with padding, which were all released in some of Microsoft's recent Power BI updates. Now, this is a really simple one that is going to make your report design quicker and easier and comes with an added bonus of speeding up your report performance and load times. So here we have Numero's finance dashboard template. As you can see, when I click on a visual, the title, the subtitle, as well as the background are all baked in to the visual. So no grouping of individual shapes, components, text boxes were required, which means as well that if we need to move or resize anything, everything automatically comes along for the journey. No more manually formatting and positioning, which is fantastic news. This reduction in total components in our reports can also have a significant increase on the speed and load times of our dashboards. So let's dive on in and look at how to get these set up. So here we are going to add a background with padding, a title and a subtitle to this chart, all within the visual container settings. So first we're going to select our chart. We're going to jump over to the formatting pane. We're then going to jump to the general option, effects, open that up where you will see background. We're going to turn that on. The color is white by default, which we will leave it at. We're then going to open the visual border section. We'll toggle that on and we want our rounded corners to be here on four pixels and as well, leave it on a white, white color as well. So the rounded corners is just a really simple way to give our containers a softer look, which makes it easier to focus on the content. Next, we're going to make sure there is enough padding between the visual and the edge of the container. So we're going to head up to the property selection. We're going to click on padding. And here we're going to make sure that each of the sections are increased to the maximum of 20 pixels. This just completes the layout of our container background design. So next, we're going to add a title and a subtitle to our chart. So again, over here in the general section, we'll scroll up, toggle on the title section, expand it out, and here you will see the title options for the visual where we can enter the text, change the font, font size, color, alignment, all of the usual suspects. Uh, we can even use some conditional formatting to make the titles dynamic based on our data or the user selection. So let's try this out. I'll enter sales performance as our title text. Here I've just gone for a dark color using our Numero theme, 10.5 uh, fonts using the Sejo UI bold with an all caps look. Um, you can also achieve an effective look using non-capitalized text here, but if you do this, just make sure to keep the font weight bold and ideally at 10.5 or even 11 point font size. So next, we'll scroll down further and turn on our subtitle option. I've already added the text of sales and profit by month. Uh, I have also gone for a dark gray color here using our Numero theme, left aligned using the DIN font at eight points of font size. Uh, this creates actually a really nice visual hierarchy between the title and the subtitle. And now you can see how the chart looks more informative and attractive with both of these added. You can also see how they adjust automatically when we resize or move the chart, which is incredibly helpful. So now back in our options, we'll scroll down further and we'll go to the spacing option next. So here we recommend toggling on the customized spacing option and using 10 points for both of these options here where they're available. Uh, this just gives some really nice breathing room for our visual and helps separate it nicely. Now with the divider, it isn't actually necessary to, to have one as they can make the report page look a little bit busier. I'll show you what happens when you turn it on though. It just creates a solid visual line across the visual. However, if you do wish to use this, we recommend keeping it as a solid one pixel line using a light gray for lighter themed dashboards such as the one that we have here. However, if you have a dark color themed dashboard or report, we would simply just go for a darker gray color. And this will just help keep it from being visually heavy while still giving clear separation between the title area and the visual area down here. Now, a quick reminder that when using titles and subtitles in our data visualizations, there are a few best practice principles to keep in mind. So the first is to keep 
keep them concise. The title and subtitle should be brief and to the point. We want to convey the key message of our visuals in as few words as possible. Second, the use of text hierarchy. By using font size and weight like we have here, that helps establish a clear hierarchy between our title, the subtitle, and any other text in our reports. And the third is to be consistent. Make sure we use the same style and formatting for our titles and subtitles throughout our report to create a cohesive look. Now there may be some scenarios where you are tight on vertical space and don't actually have room to include a subtitle underneath your title using this approach. Here it is totally fine to just use the title as we covered, but to continue using the old text box approach for your subtitle, as you can see here. But what you may find by using the title though, is that the visual content actually gets really close to the title and the text box subtitle. But a little trick we can use here is to increase the spacing on our divider. So back here under the formatting pane, under general title, if we scroll down, and toggle on the divider section, you'll notice that automatically a little buffer of space was created between the title and the content of our visual. But a little trick here though, is to change the color of the line to match the background, which is white in this case. And then from here, let's increase the divider line all the way up to the maximum of 10 pixels. So this little workaround has given us the spacing we need to achieve a really clean, well-designed look in our reports where space is limited. And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We are also really excited to share that our Numero toolkit full of professionally designed dashboards and visual templates has just been updated, applying all the visual container settings that we've covered today. Not only do these updates improve report performance by an average of 35% thanks to the reduction of all the individual text boxes and components that we used to need to create all the titles and spacings, but they also improve accessibility and make it really quick and easy to update visuals. You can check out the toolkit at numero.io along with a great resource of tutorials, blogs and videos to help you get the most out of your Power BI report design. A huge thanks again for watching, we'll see you next time.